We start tonight with nearly two dozen Republicans calling for the Speaker of the House to launch an investigation into the possible state Superintendent Ryan Walters. News for Spencer Humphrey is here with why the Speaker says even though there's two dozen or so, that's still not enough for him. Yeah, well, Speaker McCall says he wants a majority of not only House members, but specifically House Republicans on board with that possible impeachment investigation before he would support it. Now, Republicans tell me they are increasingly confident they can get there. It was a word you would have never heard out of an Oklahoma Republican's mouth less than one week ago. I hate to use the word impeachment. Until Representative Mark McBride came on our airwaves Thursday. But I, th I think we're getting to that point. And opened the proverbial floodgates. I think it's time. Now, 22 and counting, House Republicans have signed this letter asking House Speaker Charles McCall to form a special investigative committee to look into State Superintendent Ryan Walters. House Republicans, like Representative Tammy West. If this has nothing political in, in my estimation and where I'm coming from with this. And Representative Daniel Pei. We should not just talk the talk, but we need to make sure we walk the walk. Their concerns with Walters had been simmering for a while, but now it's probably been boiling. They've seen enough. We're accountable to hold our agencies accountable. That is part of our, our job as legislators. For West, the final straw came with our report last Thursday that Walters and OSDE were trying to deprive schools of funds that state legislators like her voted to give schools to make security upgrades following the Uvalde shooting. I think the security funding was that, you know, has not gone out to our schools, particularly impacts our rural schools. That was a, a concern and red flag. The attorney general's not getting a response on things. Everything just kind of came to a head at the same time. For pay. Boy, I've been knocking doors just today. It was hearing from potential voters, Republicans, independents, and Democrats. Uh, and quite literally, he came up in conversation. Who told him, enough has been enough. So people want accountability. And in my view, accountability should be more than just a buzzword used every couple of years in a campaign. The fate of this all now lies at the hands of House Speaker Charles McCall. Of the 101 House members, we know all 20 Democrats would be on board with an investigative committee, and at least those 22 Republicans would too. But on Tuesday, Speaker McCall said he wants at least 51 Republicans to sign that letter. Otherwise, he won't even consider it, unless, that is, Walters is convicted of a crime. That said, House members tell me a lot is happening behind the scenes. I think there's a sense of frustration. And my sources tell me the phones at the offices of Republican House members have been ringing just about off the hook ever since that letter came out. And they tell me that may be why that list of Republicans grew from 17 to 22 in just a few hours. Uh, I believe there is a sentiment for uh, accountability across the board. Leaving these two Republicans optimistic. It does not make me lose confidence. The floodgates have not closed. I'm never wrong to do the right thing. And I think calling attention to the work that we feel needs to be done uh, is important. And I also feel other members will join on. Now we did reach out to the Oklahoma State Department of Education to see if Walters has anything to say in response to all this. Nobody got back to us.